I'm Anil Kumar. Here is an excellent question on quadratic functions application. A farmer has $2,2400 to spend to fence two rectangular pastures as shown in the diagram. The local contractor will build the fence at a cost of $6.25 per meter. What is the largest total area that the farmer can have fenced for that price? So that is the kind of fencing farmer needs. Rate is $6.25 per meter and the budget is of $2,400. You need to find the maximum area which can be enclosed. So you can pause the video, solve the question and then look into my suggestion. Now in these kinds of problems, we should first define the variables. We have a sketch here. Let us say that the width of this fence is W and the length is L, right? So the complete length. Let's say this length. Okay, that is L. So what is the perimeter of this? So from here, we can find the perimeter. So we say perimeter of the fencing will be 2 times L plus 3 times W. Okay, that is one part. The second part is we have a budget given to us, which is $2,400. And the rate is 6.25 per meter. Now, how does that help you? So we know that the cost of this is per meter. Therefore, we went for the perimeter. And the budget is 24. So what is the maximum length of wire we can go for, right? So we can find that. So that is the length of the wire uh, or fencing, I should say. So length of fence or perimeter should be how much? Budget is $24, right? So that is $2,400. And the cost is $6.25 per meter, right? So if I divide this cost by the rate, the budget with the rate, I will get the meter of fencing which I can place, right? So let's do that part, right? So we have $2,400 divided by 6.25 that gives us 384 so we get 384 meters right you understand dollar dollar will cancel out divided by meter means multiply by meter correct so that is how you get perimeter of 384 since we know that now the perimeter which we can go for is 384 it really means that the combination of length and width should be 384. So we have our equation 384 is equals to 2 times length plus 3 times width. Now what do we need to find? What is the largest total area that a farmer can have fenced? Okay, so total area is length into width, right? So let's begin with that total area on the right side. We say area is length into width. But length and width will give us Two variables to solve we should have one variable right so we can use this to write equation one variable let's bring W on the left side so we have 384 minus 3 W equals to 2 times length or we say length is 384 minus 3 W divided by 2 so we can get relation of length and width let me call this as my equation 1. I'll substitute this here. Okay, so we'll sub in 1 here. So if I substitute 1 here, so let me call this equation 2. Okay, then the area will be how much? So area now will become, instead of length, I'm writing all this. That is 384. I could divide this by 2. Let me write separately now. By 2 minus 3 by 2 W. Write all this times W. Okay. So that is the area. Now to maximize the area, what should I do? We could do completing the squares, open the bracket, then we have a quadratic equation, correct? We could do completing the squares, that is one option. But I prefer using these two factors. We also know that the maximum will be midway between the two factors, correct? So let's find the factors or the zeros right from these two factors let's analyze our factors for zeros 
okay so this factor will be zero when this will be zero when we have 384 over 2 as equals to 3 over 2 of w is that okay so from here we can find what width is so we say width is equals to 384 over 2 times 2 over 3 so 2 2 cancels and we can find width let us find using calculator okay so it is 384 divided by 3 that gives us 128 good so we get one value of w as 128 the other value is 0, right? So the other value is W equals to 0. Perfect. So we get two widths for which area will be 0, right? To find the maximum area, what should we do? Now, to find the maximum area, what should we do? To find maximum, what we are going to do? We are going to find average of these two, right? So we are going to find average of these two. So we say, let's find the average right because of the axis it is the axis which gives us the maximum value of the dependent independent variable right w is independent variable here right so so the width which will give me maximum area is average of 0 and 128 so i get 0 plus 128 divided by 2 right so that gives me 64 so when the width is 64 i should get the maximum area correct so now let's calculate maximum area. We know 64, it is in meters, let it 64 meters. First let's find length also, when width is 64 meters. So length will be 384 minus 3 times 64 divided by 2. Is it okay? Now we'll use again calculator, find this answer. 384 minus 3 times 64 equals to divide by 2 equals to. 96 so we get length of 96 we know width and length and therefore maximum area is going to be length times width right as our equation 2 which gives us 64 times this is also in meters 96 right so we can find this so we have 64 times 96 equals to 61 Four, four meters square okay so that becomes the maximum area which we can enclose with a budget of 2400 right so what is the largest total area that the farmer can have fenced for that price so the largest area is 6144 meters square and this is the way to go about so i hope you understand the method first step is from the cost and the budget we can find the maximum perimeter right and then from the figure we can relate length and width once we relate length and width we can find area in terms of one variable i chose width as my variable and then we have to maximize maximization could be done by completing the squares or by finding zeros and then the midpoint which is along the axis so we chose that method in this particular approach once we find what width will give us maximum area, we found length for that width and then multiplied and got a result. This is an excellent approach. If you adopt, you will be easily solving such questions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.